Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to connect two PCs to two monitors and one keyboard, one mouse and one webcam using a KVM switch. The KVM switch I'm talking about is this TE Smart KVM switch and this one supports dual PCs and dual monitors. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to connect everything and especially I'm gonna show you how to switch between the PCs using the physical buttons on the KVM, using also the hotkeys on your keyboard and using the remote control. So let me show you up close this KVM. So this is the back of the KVM. First here you have the DC input so it is a 12 volt DC input and it is provided with the DC adapter. This here is a 3.5 millimeters headphones output. This is here the display 2 output and this is display 1 outputs. So these connections here go to the two monitors that you have. And these here are for the mouse and for the keyboard. And this is the USB 2.0 port. So you can use it also for a webcam, for your printer and so on. And this here is the input for PC2. And for PC1 you have the same thing. So you have two HDMI inputs and one USB-B input also. On the front of the KVM you have these LED lights. So this one here it tells you if PC1 is online. And this here to tell you if PC2 is online. And this here to tell you which PC is the one that you are working on on the KVM. So this is one and this is two. And this here is to switch between the two PCs. So this is a physical switch. And this is the infrared receiver because it also has a remote control. I'm going to show it to you in a bit. And this is the on off button also of the KVM. Now this is the remote control here for the KVM. And you have these buttons to switch between PC1 and PC2. So now I'm going to show you how to connect the cables to this KVM. So let me show you first the cables that are provided with this KVM. These are the cables. You have two HDMI cables and you have also two HDMI cables, but they are coupled also with a USB cable. So these are the main cables. In case your PC has only one HDMI output, you need to use this cable so that you can also use the USB ports of the cable. So first you connect the USB B here to the USB port and then you connect the input A to this HDMI here cable. And if your PC has two HDMI outputs, as it is the case for my PC. So for PC1, I'm gonna also connect this HDMI cable to the KVM switch. And I'm gonna show you now how I'll be connecting these cables to PC1 and it will be the same for PC2. So this here is my main PC and let me show you how I'll be connecting the cables to the back of the PC. So notice here the PC has an HDMI output and it has also another HDMI output that is here. So this one, this is the B connection here for PC1. I'm gonna put it in this HDMI output here. And the other cable, the one that is coupled with the USB cable, I'm going to put it in the HDMI of the graphics card here. And the USB, it should go into one of the USB ports of the PC. So this is now PC1 connected. So let me show you now how I'll be connecting PC2. And this is my second PC. And notice on this PC it has an HDMI output here and it has a VGA output here. So for the VGA output and for me to be able to use two monitors on this PC, I got a VGA to HDMI converter and I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna show you the final results when I connect everything. So let me first connect the HDMI of this PC to the KVM and I'm gonna be using the cable that has the USB cable that is connected to it. This is PC2. HDMI and this is PC2 also USB-B connection and here on the PC it will be HDMI and it will be USB here and now for the other connection so this is the other HDMI cable I'm gonna put it in input B for PC2 here 
and I'm gonna connect it to the VGA converter here and I'm gonna connect the VGA converter to my PC and this VGA converter needs to be powered so it has a USB power I'm gonna plug it also in a USB port of my PC so now both PCs are connected now you need to connect the monitors to the KVM so I have two monitors as I told you and for this of course you need two HDMI cables and this is here the main one it will go into display one and this is the other one I'm gonna put it in display two and I still need to show you how I'll be connecting the keyboard and the mouse I have a wireless mouse with a dongle and I'll be connecting also my webcam so this is my wireless mouse this is its dongle just put it in any of these two USB ports here I'm gonna put it in the one on the bottom and this here is my keyboard I'm gonna connect it also to the other USB port and this is my Logitech C920 webcam I'll be connecting it to the USB 2.0 port in the KVM so this now the KVM switch well installed and now I'm gonna connect the power connection to it and now it's connected to the power so you need to turn it on of course so this here is my setup these are my two monitors this is a webcam that I connected to the KVM and this is a laptop and the desktop PC is under the desk and this is the KVM and to switch between the two PCs you can use a remote control or you can use other also methods and I'm gonna show them to you so here if I press on 2 it will switch to PC2 and this is PC2 and if I press on 1 it will go back to PC1 and also if you want to switch between the two PCs you have this yellow button here if you press it it will also switch the PCs from 1 to 2 and from 2 to 1 by default the KVM hotkeys if you want to switch between displays on your keyboard they come pre-programmed with the scroll lock so you double tap the scroll lock and then 1 or 2 and it will switch either to PC1 and to PC2 but in my case for instance the scroll lock I'm using it for something else on my keyboard so there's an option in the KVM setup that you can switch from scroll lock to the right control key and this is what I'm gonna do and to do this you need to press and hold the switch button the yellow switch button for 15 seconds and once you hear a beep a continuous beep you need to turn off the KVM and turn it back on and then the control will take place of the scroll lock so this is a beep now turn it off and turn it back on so now this here is my keyboard if I double tap control and then 2 it will go to PC2 and if I double tap control and then 1 it will go back to PC1 now also you can put the focus on one of the PCs on the main display and the other PC on the second display and to do this on the remote control you press the P button and notice here now we'll have PC1 on the main display and PC2 it is on the second display and if you press the P button once again it will switch so it will put PC2 here and it will have the mouse and the keyboard also for PC2 and PC1 will be there and you can do this also with the hotkeys so double tap control 3 it will do the same thing and double tap control and then 4 it will do also the same thing and one last thing I wanted to show you here is that you can activate also a beep each time you switch from one mode to another mode and by default it comes with the beep deactivated to activate the beep double tap control and then F11 so you hear the beep and this is something that I don't like to turn it off double tap control and F11 and now it is turned off by the way if you want to check out this KVM switch I have an Amazon affiliate link in the description below I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you if you make a purchase using my link and this will help my channel greatly and then I want to thank you all for watching and I hope that you liked this video and you found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and this will help the channel greatly. And this way you will not miss any future videos I make. I'm Eloy. Thank you for watching.